Joe, first of all, welcome to, to Havia Swiss. Um, before we talk about uh, you, let's talk about that ending to that game. That really was quite something. And to, to make your debut in a, a, a late drama game like that really was quite something. How do you sum that up? Yeah, it was, I felt thought, first of all, um, great team spirit um, to come back in the game. Obviously going behind and uh, getting back into it. Um, a lot of the lads we haven't played together for a long time, so, so I thought it was really good, yeah. And, and how did you um, settle in? I mean, when did you when did you join exactly? Yeah, well, I trained first day, um, for the first time with the boys. Obviously, I saw quite a lot of potential there. Um, and we've got a great result today. And, and was Cliff quite influential in, in bringing you in? You've got a Barnet connection, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, we played together at Barnet um, some years back. Um, got a good uh, relationship with my boys, but uh, kept in contact with him. And, so yeah, just done him a nice favour there. And from the youth point of view, you started where, where was it, Watford, late in Orient? Um, can, you, can you tell us how it all started for yeah, you? Yeah, I started my career at Leighton Orient um, some years back. Uh, I left there and went, went to Watford, from Watford to Arsenal and you know, several other clubs. Um, just, it just didn't work out for me um, at that time. How, how difficult would you describe it for, for players to try and make it in the professional game now and, and then sort of drop into to non-league? Because you're, what, 20, 27 and you, yeah. you've played at lots of different levels? Yeah. Yeah, it's difficult. It's um, got to be mentally strong uh, to stay at the top level and always be at it all the time. Um, and obviously, as you drop down, you've got to be mentally strong again to try and get yourself back up there. Now, you've got that look about you that says striker, but you're a defender, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a defender, yeah. Um, not the tallest of defenders. I um, just like to read, read the game the um, best I can and give information to others, try and organise. Yeah, I was just about to say, you, you look like an organiser, sort of... Um, you were very vocal. Is that something that um, has been sort of instilled in you over the years? Um, no, I would say I was the opposite. I used to, um, I used to be the one that was quiet. Um, as I've obviously got more experience, I've gained um, realised how important it is to talk as a centre as a centre half to try and organise people, get people in. So it's something I'm trying to like. I like to um, add to other players. And a couple of caps for the Republic of Ireland. That's uh, <laughs> some, obviously something to be proud of. Uh, can you tell us about that experience and also playing in <coughs> Ireland? Yeah. Um, it was, uh, I was I was really young, getting into the first team. Steve Staunton obviously saw something in me. Um, it, like I said, a great experience playing with players like Kevin Doyle, Robbie Keane. Um, but I think, I feel like it happened all too soon. I wasn't mentally ready for the game. Uh, and what would you say was the main message from, from Cliff to, to you coming into Haber Swifts now? Because obviously they're in a, a relegation battle. Yeah, just to try and just get the boy buzzing again. Um, just breed a bit of confidence in, make them feel good about themselves, talk to them. Um, try and give them a bit of my experience. Uh, uh, first impressions of, of the club and, and the ground and the, the pitch. This is called the carpet, by the way. Yeah, oh, it's a lovely <laughs> pitch. To be fair, for this level of football, it's a lovely pitch. Um, the boys are brilliant, man. I've, I've only been there, met them once today. We're just buzzing at the moment. And uh, obviously, from the, the team's point of view, you'll want to get back to uh, trying to get another win next Saturday. And it's How important is it to push on f from this? Because it obviously, you say everyone's buzzing and that, that late drama to, to equalise and then to win, uh, how important is it to gain some momentum out of this? Yeah, obviously we, we should have loads of confidence now going into the next game. Um, we should have no fear, man. I, I, from what I see in there, top, top lads, good players. Like I said, confidence is there now. Now I saw a, a video interview with you, I think from 2007 a little earlier, when you were part of uh, Ireland and it was a sort of question and answer yeah. uh, thing. Have you still got the same car? So, uh, what was it back then? An Audi A3? Uh, yeah, I had an Audi A3, yeah. So, um, nah, I ain't got that no car now. <laughs> so, so what, what are you driving now? A uh, BMW at the moment. Okay, yeah. sounds good. <laughs> so, yeah, lovely car. Um, yeah. Okay, <laughs> right, thank you very much. Oh, thank you, nice one.